little artists. It's Miss Cycle. I am hanging out on my porch, which is kind of one of the perks of working from home. Um, it's funny to think about things that we get to do now, learning from home, um, that we wouldn't do normally. Um, I called it a perk. Some people use the expression a silver lining. They say that every cloud has a silver lining, which means that even those dark, dreary rain clouds, sometimes you can see that bright sun shining from behind them. So we call those positive things even during a time of kind of crazy, scary even things, um, we can call those silver linings. So I took that idea of a silver lining um, and I got some inspiration from another art teacher online. And so we are going to be doing a project about our silver linings. So you're gonna think about those things that are positive things that are happening right now during our time at home um, when we can't be at school. So even though we can think of all the cloudy things, all the things that make us worry, being away from our friends, being away from our teachers, trying to do all these different things all just from home, um, it's easy to think about those cloudy things, but sometimes it's important to remember the silver linings and those things that you get to do now from home that you wouldn't get to do if you were spending your whole day at school um, or if your family were all in their various jobs. So I'm going to share with you mine and then I'm going to go through how I made them with you. Now your silver linings could be similar to mine or they could be completely different. Um, we all have different lives so the things that are going well right now can be really different. One of mine is that I just bought a new house and so having a more flexible schedule right now is letting me work on it. I am also getting to spend some time in my hammock in the afternoons, which I really enjoy. Figuring out how to teach online means I'm definitely learning new things I wouldn't be if we were in school. I'm reading a lot of Harry Potter with my kids. And time with my family is just a big plus. So I took those ideas that I brainstormed on paper and I wanted to have kind of a silly way to bring up this idea of a silver lining. Now I don't have any extra silver just lying around my house that I can make art with, but I do have aluminum foil. And aluminum foil is kind of shiny and silvery. Um, so I thought, hey, what if I tried drawing on aluminum foil? Now, it only works if you have a Sharpie marker, um, which is a permanent marker, which I'll show you when I start drawing. So a regular Crayola marker won't really work to draw on aluminum foil. But if you have a Sharpie marker, um, or even, even better, if you have a couple colors of Sharpie markers, that would be awesome. Um, and then you have aluminum foil, you can try doing your drawing on aluminum foil. So it's almost like a silvery drawing. Now, if you don't have Sharpie markers, and you're like, man, I can't do this project. Nah, you can, okay? You can just do your drawing on a piece of paper. And if you have aluminum foil, you can create an actual silver lining to your drawing. Um, so you could do one of these options. You could do both of them, or you could just do a bunch of different ones. Like I came up with a bunch of different ideas. So I made a bunch of them. And if you have a poster board or any kind of thing you could attach them to, or I just like them as separate pieces. So it's your choice. But really for your assignment this week, you're taking this idea of a silver lining and you're expressing what your silver lining is in a drawing. So if you're gonna try to draw on aluminum foil, your markers have to say permanent markers, like this Sharpie, or there are other brands of permanent markers, but they need to say permanent marker on them, or else it'll just kind of get all liquidy and globby. Now you should not be trying to follow step by step with me unless your silver linings are exactly the same as mine. Um, but I know sometimes you guys just like to watch me draw so I'm gonna go ahead and 
show you the steps that I went through for a couple of mine. If you are drawing on aluminum foil, it's really important to try to keep your hand from dragging over top of anything that you just drew because the marker is gonna stay a little bit wetter than if you were drawing on paper and it's more likely to smear. So you kinda have to be really careful that you're holding your hand up and not resting the side of your hand on top of marker that you just drew. Here's my next option of just drawing on paper, and you'll have to excuse me, my paper kind of scooched down a little bit. But this is, these are my trees that my hammock is gonna be attached to. And this is really, this week, it's just kind of a fun drawing, thinking about the things that you're thankful for right now, the things that make you happy. So we're not worrying about it being perfect. We're not worrying about it getting it, in, getting it all bright and shiny, absolutely your best work ever but just taking the time to draw something that makes you happy automatically makes you feel a little bit better in your day. If you have um, scissors, glue, and aluminum foil, once you finish your drawing on paper, you can go ahead and cut it out. And notice all of my drawings are in kind of circle-y, oval-y shapes. That was just my choice as an artist. Your shapes can be whatever you want. I'm gonna do dot, dot, not a lot of glue on the back and glue it down to the aluminum foil and trim off those edges. So here's my finished product. I kept all of mine separate. Like I said before, you could attach them to a poster board or something like that, but I kind of like mine as just separate little mini pieces of art. I can't wait to see all of your silver linings. <laughs>